obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The problem is going to simulate airflow in a rectangular channel. A cylindrical object is placed in the channel. The airflow enters the rectangular channel at a horizontal velocity of 0.45 meter per second and it collides with the cylindrical body. The cylindrical body rotates at an angular velocity of 20 radians per second around the central axis. Thus, the moving wall must be defined. Therefore, the fluid simulation area is divided into two parts, which include the rotating area, or having a cylinder with a constant angular velocity, and the area of the fluid. That means the inner space of the rectangular channel other than the cylinder. Hence, by creating a cylindrical wall in the form of an interface or a common surface between two areas that allows fluid to flow through its boundary, a special flow area in the form of a hollow cylinder around the wall creates a rotating cylinder. Thus, the frame motion method is used to simulate the internal cylinder area created at the same speed as the angle of rotation of the main cylinder. The cylinder wall has dimples whose uh, protruding position is on the inside of the cylinder and whose recess is on the outside of the cylinder. The aim is to investigate the pressure distribution and rotational phenomena around a rotating cylindrical wall. Therefore, the presence of dimples on the cylinder surface affects fluid behavior. The geometry of the presence model is three-dimensional and is designed using SOLIDWORKS software. The geometry of the model consists of a rectangular channel with a cylindrical object inside the interior as a rotating object. And a cylindrical space around the rotating cylinder inside the channel is distinguished. Also, dimples or protrusions have been created on the surface of the cylinder, which has a roughness ratio of 0.5 called the ratio of the depth of the dimple cavity to the diameter of the dimple. Also, since the model is symmetrical with respect to the plane perpendicular to the central axis of cylinder, the geometry of the model is halved to reduce computational cost. The figures show a view of the geometry and also the meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is structured. To simulate the present model, several assumptions are considered. For example, the solver is pressure based. Also, we can check the cylinder boundary condition, that is wall is a moving wall and uh, the shear stress condition is no slip. The rotational axis is equal to Z and also the rotational speed is equal to 20. The outlet boundary condition type is defined as pressure outlet. The gauge pressure is equal to zero. That means that the outlet is the atmospheric pressure. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. 
You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And the, finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. We try to make a plane that is uh, in the middle of the computational domain. So we select the zero for the ISO value. All the vortices and vortexes are visible in the vector in this plane that we can see all the vortexes uh, that are made in the dimpled. As the fluid flow move through the X axis, the x direction vector and options of force display the drag force and drag coefficient. This table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and uh, its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.